Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Cecilia from Kids Who Want to Know, the show Kids Rule, and this is another episode of our in studio show. Give yourselves a round of applause, live audience. Right now, we're going to have a great episode with some interviews, some performances, and right now we have a special guest, Vina Love. Give her a round of applause. Vina Love. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hey, Vina. What's up? Hey, girl. What's up? What's good? What's you get it too big. I can't take it. I'm not. I'm like 12. No. You're growing, though. You're growing. Last time I saw you was down here, and now you up here. Nah, and now you up so. in here. I'm very proud. You know, big it, things. You know, um, it's to the thanks of people like you for coming on my show. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, the live studio audience. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> um, it's the support, and you know, I'm just um, I'm very blessed to be here, be here with you, and let's um, we know a lot about you. You're an artist. Uh, let's talk about some of your music. Like, <laughs> what have you recently put out? Um, I recently just released a song named Party. Um, the visual is out as well, which I'm really excited about. And I think right now, Party is really good to be out because there's so much going on in the world and it's just like, you know, we need a breather, we need a breath of fresh air, some good dancey music. So I'm really proud of Party. I made it in 2016 and I'm just now releasing it. So I'm happy about it. Okay, 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 that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, can you hear like a little, um I don't know, like a snippet. You want to know something? Usually I would, but in this moment, I'm going to go encourage y'all to go watch the video and download the song. I, I learned I got to stop giving out the source and yeah. go get them streams. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah, I get that. Go get that song, Vina Love, Party, all platforms. Go get that video. So the tea is, my main little attitude, for whatever the case may be. And I personally feel like rather than stay home and arguing with you, I should be able to go with my friends. As you should. You know, enjoy my night. So let's talk a little bit about um, the 50 years of hip hop, because mm -hmm. I remember one time you was at a, a concert, mm -hmm. and I, I will never forget it. And we went backstage, talked to you, and um, your father, Kid Capri. Mm -hmm. So um, tell us how, about how the 50 years of hip hop has had an impact on you, like, as an artist? I mean, as an artist, it's, it's been a ride. Just like the past, like, the whole 2023 itself, I feel like, you know, when you're really a hip-hop kid, it never stops. Like, it's hip-hop all year round. And then you get to 50 years of hip-hop, and it's like, oh, it is 50 years. And then you just turn it up a notch on the celebration. So we went crazy for BET Weekend, ASCAP, like, just all the events in New York and just all around the world, like, constantly seeing everyone, everyone's faces, young and old. For me, it was like, okay, yes, we're doing something. Like, people are getting the message. It's not about the competition between young and old. It's about... You know, joining together, joining forces, some things you don't know, they don't know. They don't know some things you know. So it's just about, you know, connecting. And I think 50 Years of Hip Hop was a great example of how we could all fit. We could all make it work together and all learn from each other. No, yeah, definitely. I, I feel like um, 50 Years of Hip Hop was like probably like one of the best experiences I've had. Like mm -hmm. probably the best experience I had in 2023 alone. But it was just like, wow, it was like it's a lot of history. It's a lot of things that you especially me since I'm young mm -hmm. it's a lot of things I really didn't know about mm -hmm. with um certain certain people and it's not even just about the music it's yeah. about um producers and photographers mm -hmm. it's just overall like hip-hop as a whole isn't just about specific it is music mm -hmm. but it's also way deeper than that way way deeper than and that and I think it's pretty cool because we have we have like producers we have artists like Cash Cobain and like you know of you guys' generation that is really like outside and taking these old songs and making them new again. Yeah. Songs you guys have never ever heard of, but you may have heard it when you were a kid and it's like, it takes somebody to play the original song for you to be like, oh, my dad played that yeah. song. And now here, you, here go your mans on the radio with the sample. So Seriously. I feel like 50 years of hip hop and what's going on in music right now, it was just like the perfect clash in timing. Yeah, that was like, yeah, I, I have to agree with you on that because even the um the Coil Ray song Get where it? they yep. uh, remixed her exactly. with yeah. um Busta Rhymes mm -hmm. um I forgot the song was mm -hmm. it that was just like that was crazy mm -hmm. that was like the song damn near the um song of the year yeah 
Mm-hmm. It's just it's just a lot. Like, yeah. With the with the mashups and like now nowadays beats and then the mashups with mm-hmm. the songs or like little samples and stuff, mm-hmm. it shows. But it also makes you realize like it didn't just start there. Yes, exactly. Because before you like you're like our my parents' generation would mm-hmm. do that. Like, I think it's just a time now where creatives all need to have respect for each other, no matter the generation. Everybody has something going on. Everybody knows something someone else doesn't. If we all just connect and speak and do things with each other, go to each other's events, support each other, it'll be just such a more happier place to be in, in terms of the industry. So I think, you know, right now, still some work to go, but 50 Years of Hip Hop was definitely, it was a great year in music. So like, besides yourself, um, where are some artists you have been um, like listening to, like on a consistent basis? (sighs) Um, I've really been listening to Cleo Soul a lot. Um, she's, I don't really know too much about her, like just, you know, I really just been listening to her music and really myself, I'm trying to put out my tape and my, my album. So I know you said someone besides myself, but I really haven't been like tapping into everybody cause I'm learning to just focus on what I have going on. And, um, I think if I, it won't be anyone specific, but I do go back and listen to like a lot of old riffs, like a lot of old songs that have some of my favorite riffs in it or like some of my favorite melodies. Like I'll tap into my 60s music. Mm. Like I'll just, you know, go back into my history. But um, for the most part, it's just me. Like I'm in my headphones 24 seven. I've been listening to a lot of Elvis recently. And I, and I, you like I, it? Yeah, yeah, it's fire. Everything you hear comes from somewhere else and yeah. never forget that. A lot of his songs are like, Sa- not samples, but like covers mm-hmm. of what people used to say, mm-hmm. and um, how he went to um, the black church, or like he used to be around um, African American music, and he just like turned into his own, mm-hmm. but keeping the same style as that. So I found that like interesting. Mm-hmm. That's just a little bit of history that I like. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that you tune in and you tapping in because there's so much more going on other than what we see directly in front of us. So I like that you're doing that. Yeah. But if you like that. I'm sure yeah, I'm sure you and your dad can speak about this all day. There's so many people that I think you personally would fall in love with from such a long time ago. Just like, their stories and what they do. I cool. And I mean, because you know people like Nas. You know people like that. Oh, yeah. But I think, like, if you like Elvis, I feel like you would love a Chuck Berry story. Okay. Like, you should definitely go. That's, that's of that time. You all should right. definitely go tap in with that. You'll love it. Okay, okay, okay. I can't promise nothing. Mm-hmm. I'll have to remember. No, that's right. I'm gonna call your dad. Don't worry about it. Okay, that's mm-hmm. not fair. Well, I'm gonna have to do like write like a two page summary. You already know. Yeah, that's that's too much. <laughs> but uh, someone, a lot of people I like to listen to is like um, I'm also gonna say this one time like um, the Temptations. Love it. Uh, New Edition. Everyone loves mm-hmm. New Edition. You know Music about the Delphonics? Say that again. You know about the Delphonics? I feel like I do. You might have heard a song or two. Pro- probably, mm-hmm. especially because of my dad. Mm-hmm. He, he, mm-hmm. That's what he listens to his music. Um, it's just it's just a lot of artists. Michael Jackson definitely. Mm-hmm. Just, I just been listening over and over mm-hmm. again because I was in my little um light skin phase. I love can, that. Okay. Well, um, Drake mm-hmm. and um. I'm a Drake fan. No Drake, Drake slander on on my end. What's your um favorite Drake song? My favorite Drake song right now is an old song. It's Can't Take a Joke. Okay. That's my song because That's- I really feel like that. Like everything he's saying, I I genuinely feel, and I don't think it's appropriate to say on his camera right here, but yeah. <laughs> I know you know the song. But um, I'm not a new Drake fan. Like of his new music, I'm not like crazy, yeah. but I do love like Over My Dead Body, like from back then, like all that all old those, Drake, old Drake. Like when I was in high school, yeah. so that was like ten years ago. So ten year ten years ago, Drake, that's me. Nah, yeah, ten years ago, Drake was definitely is definitely valid. And um, now new Drake is, is valid too. I don't know why people don't like nah, it. I mean, I don't hate it, but I feel like if you know 10, 10 year ago Drake, this Drake is like, oh, okay, all right. Like, I already knew you could do this. Yeah. Okay, I can, I can see that point. Mm-hmm. That's a good. What's some new things have you been up to besides, like, cause I know you said you just said that you're making um, your mixtape. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about that. Like, um, what's it called? Mm-hmm. Um, anything that's on it, what inspired it? Um, okay, so I have a lot, a lot going on. Um, my tape is called The Hood Marilyn Monroe, which um, I know there's going to be a lot of controversy behind that name, which I'm ready for and I'm excited for. Um, we won't get to it right now because I will have to go into debt. But The Hood Marilyn Monroe, I'm really proud and really excited. Um, my album is called Love Talk, 
which I'm really excited for that too. That's like the real R&B vibes. But the hood Marilyn Monroe, you really get to know who I am as a person. I feel like perception is really big and people have their own perceptions of me as they should. That's life. Mm. But um, the tape will definitely let you know who I am without a question. You won't have to be confused. Um, and you know, I own my own record label, so I'm just, I'm doing everything I can to just stay a boss, stay business minded, stay focused, stay an artist, but also make sure the business part of it is right. And with Release and Party, this is the first time I've been doing everything pretty much hands on. And um, it's working out for me. You want something done, do it yourself or get some people that believe in it the way you do. So I'm happy. I'm excited for both projects. As you should. I love that for you. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you for being on the show. Of course. You know that. And of course, guys, you know we're here. I'm Cecilia from Kids Want to Know. And we have our star, Vina Love. Thank it's you, girl. Kids want to know the show. Kids will. Right now, I'm here with Vina Love. So, Vina, we just saw you perform, and to be honest, you did amazing. Tell us how is it to like be out here in the Bronx and you just having fun while your dad, right before your dad set. It's amazing. I feel like I'm floating over the Bronx, like I'm just in the sky flying and bringing everybody with me. So it's a vibe to see everybody be outside and just enjoy the air, the music, and have somewhere to be safe and just have fun. So it feels really great to me. Do you have any inspirational words for any kids? Absolutely. Believe in yourself. What nobody else does, tells you, tell yourself that you can. Because you can. If you thought of it, that means it's possible. However you got to do it, make it happen. And don't be afraid to fail. You have to fail to know what it's like to win. You have to understand that feeling. So if you mess up, it's okay. Tell yourself you can do it again because you can. Well, you guys heard it here. I'm here with Vino Love. Ain't no, we about to get lit. It's your girl, Vina Love, and I'm here in Cretona Park. It is a vibe. I'm standing here with the one and only face of who else? Kids want to know. So if you haven't been in tune, get in tune now and make sure you tap into my music on all streaming platforms. It's your girl, Vina Love. Get focused. Get everyone in focus. In three, two,
And we're back. Right now, we have some upcoming guests, some dancers, of course. We have Xavian and Nevaeh Flowers, everyone. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> so, Nevaeh and Xavian, you know, I know you guys, you know, outside of all this. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about um, your group. You guys are a part of a dance group called um, BAD or BAD. Yeah. So I'm the um, uh, CEO of BAD. Mm -hmm. um, it started when I was five or six, cause I got invited. Cause I used to play sports, and I got invited to um, perform for like my sports team or whatever. And um, I needed dancers, so we just like my dad started inviting people to like. We started the group from there. Like he just invited people, they popped out, and then we performed. And ever since then, it's been history. Okay, okay. And how old are you? 11. How old are you? 15. Wow, see? A couple young stars right here. Give them a round of applause one more time. <laughs> so you said that you um played sports. Do you still play sports now? And yes. if so, um, what sports? Football and basketball. Oh, yeah. I'll cook you. I'll cook you. And which ones? And both. Like, I'm talking about you. I'm going to show you my highlights. Okay. Okay. Roll the tape. <laughs> So, um, Nevaeh, I heard that you also um, make music as well, right? Mm -hmm. You had this song that came out not too long ago, um, inspired by your um, your late grandfather. Mm -hmm. It's called um, Favorite Person. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us um, a little bit about the process of making that? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's the first time I've ever spoke about this on an interview. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, Favorite Person is about my grandfather who um, passed away by, uh, April in 2023. Um, from cancer and you know I just wanted to let everyone know that we all go through it you know it was hard making it I was in the car with my mom listening to the beat writing up the lyrics crying for like three hours straight just putting it together and now it's a great song that's great give her a round of applause <laughs> again I'm sorry for your loss thank you and I'm glad that you were able to turn some of your pain into um, a form of art mm -hmm. and that's great and um, so this question is really for um, the both of you. Tell us about um, some of your experiences dancing, because I know you guys have danced in like crazy music videos <laughs> for French Montana. Um, who else? A lot of people. A lot yeah. of people. So just tell us about some of the people and some of the artists you've danced for, and how was it? Good. One of probably I would say this one that was my favorite one that we did together um, was probably Summer Jam with yes. Cardi B. Yes, yes. That's yes. my favorite one that we yeah. did together. Hundred percent. But probably my favorite one in general i don't know i i have so many i just can't pick i've done yeah, it's so kinda many hard. when i was like uh like seven eight i snuck my way on stage with rick ross like like literally like we we went from the top to the bottom <laughs> and then my dad lifted me up put me on the stage i was like i want to go on he put me on there the security tried to stop me and rick ross was like let him dance <laughs> and i danced Nah, that's fire. Yo, yeah. W Dad. Yo, give the dad the round. Yeah, dad, w dad, that's a w, w Dad. dad. Yo, that's crazy. What about you, Nevaeh? Wh which one was your favorite? Mm, I've done a couple. I would have to say Summer Jam. Summer Jam was really fun. It was very chaotic, very <laughs> hectic. Long story with it. But it's, it was really fun. It was an amazing experience. We've met so many people, like so many people. And then even like the after reaction with us posting it on social media, everybody's con congratulating us, telling us, you know, that we did it, you know, we've made it or whatever. But, you know, we're just going, getting bigger. Yeah, the only thing you could do is get bigger from there, right? As long as you know. So um, what's some um, upcoming projects you got coming up? Cause I know, um, I think, what, basketball season's coming up for yep. you? Yep. And you got some new music coming out? I do. So, um, go ahead, X. Uh, something I'm working on. I got, like, a lot of unreleased that like I probably recorded like years ago. And also I have um, a song that um, is still on release. We recently recorded it. It's called, um, honestly, I still have yet to come up with a name with it. That's all that's really in the works right now. I, got a, I know I got a couple shows coming up. Always busy, always dancing, always <laughs> working. So that's it. Okay. Um, I'm working on my album that soon come out. And you know, we're just, Doing other extra stuff, we're performing, we're practicing, dancing 25-8, doing schools as well. So we have a lot of projects coming up. 
Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. And again, I'd like to say I'm proud of you guys. I'm Thank glad you. to have you guys on the show, and i love to see your growth. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode. This is with some wonderful guests, some great interviews, performance coming up from Mika the Queen. I'm Cecilia from Kids Wanna Know, and we're out. Peace. And now for the performance of the day, Amika the Queen, everyone. Give her a round of applause.
in my outfit of the day. Feeling real cute now, now watch me slay. Party over here, hair pimple ray. Party over here, hair pimple ray. On the scene, and I just dance like nobody's watching. Others may try, but can't do it like me. Hey, blessed up, and I'm so unique. It's all love, we ain't hate a freak. There's no place that I'd rather be, so you can come and do my dance with me. Blessed up, and I'm so unique. It's all love, we ain't hate a freak. There's no place that I'd rather be, so you can come and do my dance with me. Do my money dance, check a pose, and freeze. Shake a pose and freeze. Do my money dance. Shake a pose and freeze. Shake a pose and freeze. Do my money dance. Shake a pose and freeze. Shake a pose and freeze. Do my money dance. Shake a pose and freeze. Shake a pose and freeze. 